All right, so we got this big aluminum hat here for all you conspiracy theorists. Here's an aluminum hat. It has a uh, motor in it, but there's no belt. And we can't figure out what belt size it is, so we stopped by the supply store this morning and just grabbed an assortment of different belts and crossed our fingers, and hopefully one of them is the belt we need. This is operating a bathroom exhaust fan, and so they really, really want to get it changed because they don't enjoy the way it smells in their building. Okay, so this is a 16, this is that 15. I bet it's gonna be that 16. Look at that, it is the 15. Good thing I grabbed that. I wasn't gonna grab it. Oh, it might be that. Um, might be that 16. I just have to adjust the belt tension. I got a broken uh, bolt over here. I'm gonna turn this on and just see what happens. loosen that up just a little bit. This hasn't ran for years, so I don't know if it's gonna run for a while once we get this back on. A little bit more tension, or less tension than we've got now, generally speaking. You can see right here that this bushing is broken, so that's not good. We'll have to get a new bushing for that. But we're just trying to get this thing, see if it's gonna run. The shaft is spinning on this pulley, see that? Oh, yeah. So that was what was going on. So, I'm gonna loosen this back up and pull that belt off and we'll adjust that. Need a little bit fun to take these belts off once they're on there. This small of a belt. Good. Let's see if I can loosen that thing up. Thank you, WD forty. If you can't fix it with WD-40, maybe it's not broken. So one thing to note whenever you're working on exhaust fans is a lot of times this pulley won't be lined up with this other pulley. It'll either be too high or too low. On a pulley system like this with a belt so small, you wanna get this really, really close to that other pulley. And I generally just use like the Allen wrench I'm using, set it across the top and make sure it's about the same height. If you have it too far off, the belts not going to last very long. They don't last very long as they are because they're so little. But you definitely want to do the best job you can to line that up so that try to give that belt possibility to last as long as possible. Um, as you can see on this pulley here, there is this Allen wrench that I'm working on here that tightens it on the shaft. There's also another Allen wrench here the reason is, is this pulley is stationary. This side of the pulley you can spin to make uh, a tighter gap here. If you spin this tighter, it's gonna make the belt ride further out here, make this fa fan run faster, but you could overamp this motor. So if you're ever adjusting this pulley, you always wanna make sure and look at the nameplate of the fan motor and put an amp meter on there to make sure that you're not overamping the motor. Now, if you don't have an amp meter with you, probably not a good idea to adjust that pulley. So if you've got a motor that's over amping, the opposite is true. You would just go like 
half of a turn or one full turn to open that up so it rides further in there would lower the amperage on the motor. So now that we've got that tightened on there, we'll put that belt back on. Which is uh, always good to do if you're changing a belt, is write the belt size down. Because by the time this belt fails, the belt size will be, you won't be able to read it on there, so. Uh, this cover goes over here, so that always should be legible. Let this run for a minute, make sure this operates okay, and then we'll be good to go. People step on these and cave these in, and so they end up with a bunch of water in them. Just kind of the inside out, just kind of pound that out so water doesn't seep in that little riveted hole and drip onto the motor. All right, we'll let that run and move on to the next issue.